Let's learn how to mount a nest box on a 10-foot telescoping pole made of EMT conduit. Hi, I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds channel. I've provided dozens of nest boxes for various cavity nesting birds every year since 2012 and want to share with you what I've learned. During that time, I struggled with finding a good mounting system for different sizes of nest boxes. After trying various methods, I settled on using a telescoping pole made of EMT conduit mounted to a steel T-post. It's a versatile method that I've used for mounting small boxes for house wrens, chickadees, bluebirds, tree swallows, and great crested flycatchers, as well as large boxes for northern flickers, screech owls, and wood ducks. So what is EMT conduit? EMT stands for electrical metallic tubing. It is made of galvanized steel and is sold in 10 foot lengths at home improvement stores. The inside diameter sizes I use are half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch. Half inch conduit fits inside three quarter inch conduit, while three quarter inch conduit fits inside one inch conduit. Two sizes are combined together to make a telescoping pole. Let's look at the materials we need for making a 10-foot telescoping pole. A steel T-post makes the base of the mount. A 2.5-foot length of conduit is used for the lower portion of the pole. And a 5-foot length of conduit is used for the upper portion of the pole. The box is attached to the upper portion and it is inserted into the lower portion. The upper portion should be half inch conduit for small boxes and three quarter inch conduit for large boxes. The lower portion is three quarters inch conduit for small boxes and one inch conduit for large boxes. A quarter inch carriage bolt is used to hold the telescoping pole in place. A size 20 hose clamp attaches the lower portion of the pole to the steel T-post. You can find links in the video description for the materials to make a pole. Let's look at a nest box mounted on a 10 foot telescoping pole. Starting at the top, we have the nest box fastened to a five foot length of conduit. The bottom foot of the five foot length of conduit is inserted into a larger diameter piece of conduit, which is attached to the steel T-post with a hose clamp. The steel T-post is driven into the ground. A removable quarter inch carriage bolt holds the upper portion of the pole to the lower portion. The nest box can be checked by removing the bolt and lowering the upper portion of the pole. You can also remove the upper portion of the pole from the base. Before you make the telescoping pole, the conduit needs to be cut to the proper length. The upper portion of the pole should be five feet long. Because the conduit is sold in 10 foot lengths, cutting it in half will give you two five foot upper portions. The lower portion of the pole should be two and a half feet in length as it will attach to the steel T-post. You can make four pieces from a 10 foot length of conduit. Some stores will cut the conduit for you, but if you cut it yourself, you will want a conduit cutter. The cutter uses a cutting wheel that slowly slices through the conduit as it rotates around the tubing. After each rotation, tighten the cutter slightly until you finally cut through the conduit. You can find a link for a conduit cutter in the video description. After cutting the conduit to the proper lengths, you need to drill holes through it. Drill a hole one inch from the top of the upper portion to attach the nest box to the conduit. The hole should be 3 16 inches for small boxes and a quarter inch for large boxes. Drill a quarter inch hole 11 inches from the bottom of the upper portion for the bolt. The bottom hole should be drilled parallel to the top hole so the box faces the same direction as the bolt. Drill a quarter inch hole one inch from the top of the lower portion of the pole, also for the bolt. When the upper portion is inserted into the lower portion, the holes will line up and the bolt can be inserted. To drill holes through conduit, you will definitely want to use a drill guide. It fits on the conduit so your holes are centered and perpendicular. To learn how to use it, follow the link at the top of the video. On the left are the materials you need for attaching a small nest box to half-inch conduit. A 2-inch long number 10 by 24 machine screw, washer, and nut. A half-inch conduit strap. And two number 6 1 and 5 8 inch construction screws. On the right are the materials you need for attaching a large nest box to a 3 quarter inch conduit. A 2-inch long quarter inch 
flathead bolt, washer, and nut, a three-quarter inch conduit strap, and two number six one and five eighths construction screws. The following demonstration uses a nest box that has already been mounted to conduit. Let's remove the roof from the nest box to make it easier to work with. To attach a small box to a five foot length of half inch conduit, a 3 16 inch hole should be drilled through the center of the back of the nest box. Open the box and insert the machine screw with washer into the inside back of the box. Slide the conduit over the machine screw, attach the nut, and tighten with a wrench. Before attaching the conduit strap to the box, make sure the conduit is parallel with the nest box. Measure and mark the box so the screws attach to the floor of the nest box. Place the conduit strap over the conduit and line it up with the mark. The screw holes were drilled using a 3 seconds inch drill bit. Finally, screw in the construction screws to firmly attach the box to the conduit. Follow the same instructions to attach a large box to a 5 foot length of 3 quarter inch conduit. Except drill a quarter inch hole through the center of the back of the nest box about 12 inches from the bottom of the box and use a quarter inch bolt to fasten the box to the conduit. Use the following tools to erect the telescoping pole. A post pounder is a necessity for safely putting the post in the ground. Do not try to drive a post without one. A post puller is useful for removing a post from the ground because you may want to move the nest box in the future. A flathead screwdriver is needed for tightening the hose clamp. Before you drive the T-post into the ground, dial 811 to locate underground cables. You do not want to damage them or yourself. Put the post pounder on the steel T-post and tilt the post at a slight angle in the direction that the nest box will face. This will make it easier for adults and young to climb up to the hole of the nest box. Carefully pound the post into the ground until the anchor plate is completely in the soil. If you need to move the mount, use a post puller to pull up the steel T-post. Attach the lower portion of the pole to the post with the hose clamp. Make sure the hole is on top and points the direction the nest box will face. Insert the upper portion of the pole into the lower portion, line up the holes, and insert the carriage bolt. The telescoping pole is now installed, but still needs a baffle. A baffle is necessary to prevent climbing predators from accessing the nest box. The baffle is constructed with a six inch round steel duct pipe that is two feet long. A one gallon number 10 can is attached to the pipe using two sheet metal screws. The can has a one and a quarter inch hole drilled in the top to fit over the conduit. Before I used a baffle, Squirrels climb the pole to use the nest box or gnaw a larger hole in it. I also had snakes climb the pole and eat the eggs of the nesting birds. To learn how to make the baffle, follow the link at the top of the video. The baffle hangs on the lower portion of the pole using a conduit hanger. Use either a three quarter or one inch conduit hanger depending on the size of the conduit. To add it to the pole, remove the bolt and the upper portion of the pole. Place the conduit hanger on the lower portion of the pole below the hole for the bolt and tighten it around the conduit. Slip the baffle over the lower portion of the conduit so it hangs on the conduit hanger. Replace the upper portion of the pole and put in the bolt. The nest box is now safe from climbing predators. There are many advantages to using this mounting method. Birds seem to prefer nesting at this height rather than at a lower height. It's easy to monitor the nest box by removing the carriage bolt and lowering the box. The post can be easily moved by pulling it up. The upper portion of the pole with the nest box can be moved to a different base. The baffle makes the nest box safe from climbing predators. I hope you find this method useful for mounting nest boxes where you live. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hi, I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds channel. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red subscribe button below the video. To be notified of new videos, be sure to click the bell widget next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.